Hey YouTube, this is June, and today I have you the Cyanogen Mod 7 for the Droid X. I have successfully installed this working camera with the patch that will make the camera work. For those of you guys um, who are afraid to install Cyanogen Mod because you thought the camera won't work, well, I have a fix for you. So, well, as you can see, the camera works really well. This looks like a fast-forward video. I'll take a picture. There we go. We'll look at the gallery. And our picture is right there. So, everything seems to be working in working order. Let's see. Everything seems to be in working order. This is still in the beta phase. And I'll show you guys the boot up screen. I don't really have the time to turn it off and turn it on again. Wait, guys. Oh, the battery back cover is... is kind of weird since I dropped it once and the pins got bent. Okay, there we go. So now I'll boot on the Monola Droid X. The Monola boot logo is still there because I needed to in flash back to 2.1. I was on 0.602 before, but now I'm on the 3.340, I think. But now I'm back to 3.3.3. .3 .3. Let's just wait for that to boot up. Okay, the screen. There we go. Yeah, I think the boot loop has something to do with but I, I don't think it's a bit loop. So now we'll unlock. Yay. Since it's the initial boot up, it'll have some lags. But look at it, it moves so swiftly and fast. It's very fast. It's a very fast build. And it was builded straightly from stock AOSP Android. Um, and the market works, everything works, Wi-Fi, GPS, network location, and I am running on build uh, CM7, I mean CM dash shadow dash 78 dot zip. I have um, if you guys uh, want to know how I got the camera working and the whole build working. No. Then you guys should comment or do s PM me so and then I'll maybe post up the installation video. Okay, uh. so to let you know that Google Maps also works. Let's say navigate to Starbucks. There you go. Accept Google Maps navigation beta. Getting driving directions. Let's see. Starbucks at Rivermark Plaza. It says go left and right and go to the circle and you're there. Since the Starbucks is really close from here, you guys, I wouldn't really need a navigation. 
Um, later, I'll take a part two of this video and go outside and test the GPS. And those of you who are actually wanting the um, stuff from Blur, I have some Blur apps that I could upload if you guys um, do something. I have Druid Eye Wallpapers and also the best, the FM Radio. install the both two things and now I'll get an earphone earbuds or maybe earphones uh, insert the headphones to act as an antenna and now I'll open the app app FM radio huh where'd it go now you have to reinstall That's weird, it's just not installed. Okay, maybe it's not working. Let's try a blurred camera then. Okay. Well, it looks like the blur apps don't work on here. So, the only way to get FM radio is maybe get a beta version from the market. Let's search for it. Personally, I don't like the new market because it's unstable and that, so I uninstall the updates and they update by themselves, which is really annoying. Okay, let's go to FM Radio. Go. And Spirit FM Radio? Let's see what that is. Okay, there we go. This is a real one. Accept and download. Downloading. There you go. Installing. Oh, and another feature is that it has a Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, like the TouchWiz apps, which is which is a good touch. Cyanogen. This is a starters one, so that everyone should know how to work this. Spirit FM Radio looks like it needs uh, it needs root access, which is a good news. Okay, so I'm gonna try for getting any signal here. Um, I'll keep it up to date. Okay, now let's take, let's check the Cyanogen mod settings. There's a lot of things here, too. Cyanogen mod settings. Disable. I mean, uh, settings automatic bat light nah and let's check the performance CPU setting so we can't overclock for some reason let's take a set CPU right in your settings tablet tweaks that's what that is disable lock screen bottom status bar let's say that take um and okay it's not gonna work. Okay it's not in for us. Um and also new things for the ABW launcher, UI settings. Um 
main dock style expand desktop no desktop dock safe size dock nah dock bar closing dock bar close the app drawer okay um let's do theme processness select your theme Oh, that, that's the only thing. Get themes. I don't know how to feel like it. So, let's get quadrant scores for the benchmark. Those of you who want to know how it changed the speeds. Oh, and the battery, um, life is perfect on this ROM. It's the best battery life I've ever seen in a phone software even faster than a feature phone. I mean, better than a feature phone, which is surprising. Okay, run a full benchmark. Okay, memory, I.O. The I.O. usually takes about one minute, but now it just passed it in a snap. And this is 25 FPS and 20 in a little laggy, but it can handle every games you have, even 3D. So, this is one of the most hardest, hard ones to get. There, this one's currently running a 10. This is 17. Yes, sending benchmark results. Let's see what we get. 2076 Wow This is the Droid X Casual I mean the stock And look We're at the top of the list Thanks to the CM7 ROM So those of you who want more Want to know more Anything else um, PM me or anything From commenting Subscribe this has been a bad review, but this is not over yet. Let's see. Realm Manager, that can be a lot of help. Backup, check ROM. But the most thing about this ROM is usually for it for its settings which I went with you really slightly settings almost everything's here this is actually um, so as I told you before this is uh, from the Nexus S this is uh, based on the Nexus S firmware it's a great ROM. Any questions, this is part one of the video. I will, I will be uploading this. And the part two will come soon. Thanks for watching.